been a while since we, we caught up. There's a lot happened. Um, and there's 10 massive games right in front of us now. Yeah, uh, Three-week yeah. break. It's Middlesbrough today. What's the score prediction? 2-1, uh, Saints. Be Who close. You? Goal scorers. Adam Armstrong, David Brooks. That would be nice. I've been doing a points tally prediction for the next two games. Yeah. What do you think we'll get out of the next two? Or do you think we'll get three today? How do you feel about Ipswich and Portman Road? I'll say a draw, but I think it depends how they play today away at Blackburn. I think if they lose today, there's an absolute chance we go and beat them. Yeah. Um, what we don't want today is them to win pretty comfortably because they've got a bit of momentum then. Um, but I'd take four from the next two games. I think we need to win eight of the next ten. Funny enough, I said to someone earlier on, eight, eight, eight wins now would we, we, we we, we give us a chance. Yeah. Do you think we can do it? <laughs> um, we went, to, we went twenty, you know, twenty, you know, what, twenty-five, 25 games unbeaten, yeah. what, twenty-three league games. Um, yes, but I think we need to beat all three of Leeds, Leicester, and Ipswich. I think if we lose to any one of them, I don't think we will. Though. They're like six pointers. Like Monday becomes massive, like yeah, a six pointer, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, massive. I think it also depends how, you know, unfortunately we're in a position now we're relying on them to lose. Um, we need them to drop points. Leeds have a way to Watford today. That's not easy. Um, and they've got a lot of injuries as well. They do. We are in a position where we're relying on them. All we can do is win what we've got in front of us and you know, we're relying on them now to lose. Yeah, we are relying on those to, to lose. Do, 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 do you think autom- automatic is just a slim chance now? <laughs> Everyone's written us off. I've been on loads of YouTube shows this week. I've watched loads. And everyone's writing us off. Fourth place, everyone's the same. Saints before. I don't think that's a bad position to be in, though, because when you think about it, at the start of the season, people were written us off already. And look at us, we went and we were, we, we sort of took everyone by surprise. And I don't think it's a bad thing that we've been written off now. I think I prefer to chase than be, be chased. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we got a chance still. We just have to, we have to keep winning. And then we just got to hope then. Um, yeah, we do. We do. I want to talk to you about the back four before you go. A um, lot of debates about whether Jack Stevens plays or he doesn't play. How? What's your best back for? Walker Peters right back, without a shadow of a doubt. Howard Bellis and Bednarek as the back. Howard Bellis as a centre back, definitely. Most definitely, it? yeah, yeah. You see the difference when we change from. Yeah, you know, we've had games here where Stevens has started. You then swapped it, and we look a different team. I think left back is really difficult. I think Larios, if he can get himself fit before the end of the season and regular game time, I don't think he's with that. You know, he could well beat Manning. I think Manning probably starts, but because it's all we got. Yeah. Um, he spoke really highly of Larry I say in the press yeah, conference. I'm not surprised. Yeah. He I'm, really liked him. He's a good young talent, but he doesn't want to rush him. And you said he, it might it might be a pre-season to get him going. Which but is fine. Yeah. He's a good young talent. He is, mate. He is, and you know Manning's been a bit shaky, but then he's had games where I think he looks superb. And unfortunately, he's not done for us what he did for Swansea. Um, but he's undoubtedly got talent because you don't play like that last season and then suddenly become bad. Um, I think it's just going to take a bit of time, that's all. Yeah. But yeah, probably Madden is, is your left back. Yeah, thank you very much, Will, for joining me today. You've been a superstar. No worries. Thank you. Lucas, welcome along to the match day vlog. We're here at St Mary's. Southampton host Middlesbrough today. Another big game. What's your score prediction? 4 0. I feel like we're going to thrash them today. He's going 4 0. 4 0 thrashing. Uh, clean sheet for Saints. Uh, who's your goal scorers? Shea Adams gets one when he comes on. Um, I should get two, and then we have. Who do we have? Rebo has been playing quite well, yeah. and he when he's coming up, he's he, yeah, he's scoring goals. Rebo yeah. and the and the other man that's back today is wee man Ryan Fraser yeah, is yeah. available. Yeah, but like he will get Ryan Fraser will get one. Um, yeah. He fancies Ryan Fraser to score. Um, big score prediction for today. Points tally prediction for the next two. We've got Ipswich on Monday, Easter Monday. How many points are we getting out of the next two games? Six. You're going six. He's going six for the next two. That would be quite a return. It's a big game yeah. at Portman Road, isn't it? Yeah. And finally, before you go, do you think Southampton can get automatic promotion? Yes. yes. You do? He believes we can do it. Everybody's writing us off, so you just never know. Thank you for joining me today. You've got the most unbelievable Southampton player shirt collection because you seem to get player shirts a lot. How many you got? 22. 22. And which one's your favourite? Because you've got a lot of good ones. You've got Alcaraz. Lavia. Oh, he's got Lavia's. Lavia's, that's a, that's a golden one to have, isn't it? He was a good player, wasn't he? We missed Lavia, don't we? He's out. I've got Ward Prowse as well. No way, he's got James Ward Prowse, a Southampton Legends shirt. Um, where'd you put them all? In bedroom wall? Yeah. Right, we're here for Saints Middlesbrough today. Big game for, for the Saints. What's your score prediction? 3 1 to the Saints. 3 1 Saints. Who's going to score? 
Rothwell, Fraser, Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong as well. It is due another goal. We like Adam Armstrong. Big, big, big game at um, Ipswich. You going on Monday, Easter Monday? No. Do you think? We, do you think we'll win up there? We did have tickets, but my dad um, gave them to one of our Saints friends. So you're not going to Ipswich. Um, do, you, do you think Saints will still get automatic promotion? Do you think it's a real outside chance now? I don't reckon we'll get automatic promotion, but I think we'll go up in the playoffs. He thinks we'll go up in the playoffs. Before you go, mate, is there another player's shirt you really want to get before the season now? Who's the one player you want now? Flynn Downs. He wants Flynn Downs. Flynn Downs, if you're tuning in, Charlie really wants your shirt. He's got loads. He'd love to add it to his collection, wouldn't you, bud? Yeah. Thank you for joining me, mate. I've got Ryan with me. Ryan, welcome along to the match day vlog. Can you give me a score prediction for today's game, firstly? 3-1. He's going 3-1 Southampton. And what a points tally prediction, though, for the next two games? Six points. He's going six points for the next two games. You think we'll beat Ipswich away. How big is that game, mate? What, massive for our season. Yeah, it is a huge game, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think if we can get nine points out of the next three, we put ourselves right in a chance of that automatic promotion place? Because at the moment, everybody's writing us off. Yeah, definitely. It would will, it will be good. Ryan's going for six points from the next two games, and he's going for Southampton to win. I want your goal scorers. Ooh, Armour, Brooks, Adams. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, I am with you on that. Thank you very much for joining me today, mate. Really. Was boring. Did you get anything out of it? Southampton now and, and, and a big big Easter for Saints. Yeah. What's your points tally prediction for the next two games? Um, nine points. Nine points would be amazing if we can put yeah. up between now and that Flatbow game is massive isn't it yes. That's next week. Um, if we can go and get a result there as well. Um, what's your score prediction for today's game? I'm saying a clean sheet, 3-0 or 5-0. Going with a clean sheet, we've not done that at St Mary's for a while, we've shipped a lot of goals in. Hopefully, just the right team. I just hope he decides to hit a hard balance. At centre back. Yeah, and Ben Derek as well. And obviously, Carl Capitas. So. Yeah, Carl Walker Peters is fit, massive boost. Some other good news this week we took it on TikTok last night that Ryan Fraser is now fit again. How important could Wee Man be in these final 10 games? He's just, I think it's important to get him on and see if he can make any magic with the, on the pitch. And he's actually quite quick on the wing, so hopefully he gets some goals as well. Yeah, it's got some magic. Chloe, thank you very much for joining me today. You've been superb. Thank you. Thank you. Top man. How are you doing? Good to see you. you. Um, right, pre-match prediction um, for today's game first. A few questions for you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Long week. Finally, football's back. Let's get Three into weeks it. of that again. Yeah, let's get into it. Can't wait. Do you think we win today? School prediction. I'm going to on Saints, but I'm all right. Middlesbrough haven't lost in four games and... You know, it's going to be a difficult game. Every game, 10 games to go, it's massive 10 games left. I want a points tally prediction, mate, for the next two games. This Easter weekend, Good Friday today, uh, Middlesbrough, then a massive, massive game at Portman Road. I personally think we can get for, uh, six points. I think we can beat Middlesbrough today and I think we can edge it out and get it past Ipswich next Monday. It would be incredible if we could go on and do that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, everyone's written Southampton off. Uh, you, I've been watching loads of YouTube shows this week. I've, I've even been on a few myself. Um, and everybody's right in Southampton off for the autos. Yeah, I, I personally, I wouldn't worry off yet. I still think we can get second. You know, we, we, 32 points up for grab. I, I don't see why we can't get second. Um, how many wins do you think we can get from the 10? How, how many do you think we need? We need to win all of them, and I personally, we can potentially win all of them. Leeds is probably the hardest one we can get, so that's a big test. Yeah, no, it is a, a really, really big test. Some big, big games coming up. Who? Who for you should play in that back four today? It's been tinkered with a little bit recently. Uh, everybody's fit and available today, including Wee Man. Ryan Fraser's back. How does the back four shape up? I would just, if I was mine, I'd go for the strongest possible starting eleven. You, you know, you can go for. It. You can't be making any changes. Who's it... your strongest back four then for you? 
Walker Peters, Hara Bellis, Ben Nemec and maybe Manning. Yeah, but... Manning. I'm with you. I think that, that's the strongest back four. Midfield three speaks for itself. Um, I think it'd be down small bone in there to d- today with, without any questions. Stuart Armstrong, Shay Adams up front. Uh, Adam Armstrong will play and it's, it's who plays on the right side. Do you think Brooks keeps his space? Yeah, I think Brooks will keep it easy. He's been in tremendous form and then you've seen what he's been doing with Wells in the international break. He's, he's just been in stupid form, isn't he? Yeah. He's too good. He is too good. Hopefully we get a result today. Big couple of days ahead. Thank you for joining me on the Match Day Vlog. Joe is back on the Match Day Vlog. Thank you for joining me, mate. How are you doing? Good, you? Yeah, the sun's shining, a bit windy. Big game at St Mary's today. It's a big Easter. Good Friday. Middlesbrough, what's the score prediction? I reckon Saints will come back with a good win. They'll be 3-1, 3-0 Saints. Would be nice. Clean sheet would be good. Um, Back four. I've been asking everybody today, what's the back four? Jack Stevens gets put in that side a lot. Do you you think he misses out today? Jan Bednarek and uh, Harwood Bellis back in at centre-back? I'd go with Harwood Bellis and Stevens. And then have Carl on the right. Manning left. Yeah, I think Manning and Carl Walker Peters come back in. Big news this week, Ryan Fraser is now available again. Ross Stewart's back on the grass, which is good. David Brooks has come back. He's got pretty much a fully fit squad now. Yeah, it's a good thing, you know, like it's best it's the best time of year to get all the players back in the squad. Yeah, it's good. It's a it's a big Easter. I want a points tally prediction for you for the next two games. You think we're getting three today? What are you saying about Portman Road on Monday? Um, yeah, three points. He's going three points. I think if we pick up the three points against Ipswich, it will give us a massive boost because it's Blackburn next weekend. Go and get nine points and it's all to play for then. Yeah. A lot of people saying eight wins might do it, automatic promotion. A lot of people writing us off. Still think we're in with a sniff? We've got an outside chance. We're definitely a dark horses, but I think it's going to be a playoff final. Yeah, you think it's going to go to playoffs? It's going to be tough. Who's going to be the star man today for you in this game against Middlesbrough? Carl Walker Peters, whenever he's in the team, he just always wants to show him. He's so good, isn't he? He's so good. Uh, before you go, I want to talk to you about the England games. We had, we had an international break. We've had two England games. Did you watch them at all? Did you get anything out of it? Yeah, just get Gareth out. I swear. Uh, You're Gareth out, man. I'll be talking to people about, about England. Do you think we can go on winning the Euros? He's certainly got a squad of players that should win the win the Euros, but do you think we will? With Gareth Southgate in charge, in charge, I don't think so. No, you don't fancy it. No, I'm not overly sure. He's got some unbelievable players, but thank you for joining me today. No worries. It's been a superstar. Yeah. Emery, good to see you, mate. Um, yeah. Been chatting a while on uh, on, on social media. Yeah. Your thoughts on uh, today's game against Middlesbrough? We're here for a, another big game in the Skybet Championship. Uh, I expect us to win. No high hopes, to be fair, because you never really know in the Championship. Anything can really happen. But I expect us to win today. We should win, shouldn't we? I want a points tally prediction for the next two games. You're thinking of win today. What are you saying for the for the Easter period? Six points up for grabs, what are you saying? Ultimately we should get six points because we're a club that should be winning these games. And yeah, we should be higher up than where we are to be honest that's what I, my opinion we've dropped to fourth uh, a lot of people right in Southampton off they don't think we'll get an automatic promotion spot do you think it's still doable it's doable but whether Martin and the boys have enough to do it I don't know but I hope that we get all back here the style of play is always spoke about do, do you think there would need to be a plan B. If we go into a playoffs and we end up in the playoffs, do you think the style of play that we play would, would get us through? He's not going to change the way we play, is he? Nah, I enjoy the way we play because it's enjoyable to watch, but I'm not like... I don't think we need to change it because I feel like it's worked us well all the way through the start and throughout the rest of the season. Yeah, we went 25 games unbeaten playing that way, didn't we? It's pretty incredible, a club that went 25 game, games unbeaten. He's, he's done a decent job, Russell, hasn't he? Um, if he could get his promotion, he'd go down as an absolute hero at this football club, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. But... It's yeah. a big ask, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very big ask. It's a big ask. Thank you for joining me today. I really no appreciate your time. Welcome to my match day vlog. I want to get your pre-match prediction of Southampton versus Middlesbrough today. Well, we owe them for last time because we lost to them and that was the start of our 20-something. Yeah, 25, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I reckon it's going to be 
We're going to let a goal in because it's Bazunu, so I reckon 2 1. <laughs> it's going 2 1, Saints. Um, points tally prediction for the next two games. Uh, I hope all the points because we. Six would be amazing if we could get six. We've got you. Uh, if we've got a shot at second place, we've got you. Because uh, playoffs, I'm not liking the idea of the playoffs, unfortunately. All, all tests will be massive. It's almost like a six pointer, isn't it, at Portman Road? on yeah. Monday because if we can get the three points they don't get three points it would be massive if we go there and win oh, it would be yeah it would be a massive boost to our uh, the end of season campaign which is basically what this is yeah. and we've got to do it because if we end up meeting Leeds in the playoffs oh, I can't see that happening unfortunately yeah, it would be really hard wouldn't it it's, oh, it's going to 10 cup finals would you say now 10 yeah. massive games isn't it <laughs> pretty much yeah every game counts at this point and every point counts so we've got to go for it every game we have to we do. It's a nice atmosphere today. It's, it's a bit warmer yeah. than it has been. There's a good atmosphere building again. If the fan base really come together now and really back our team, you just never know, dear. Well, that's the joy of being a Saints fan, I guess. Yeah, it could go either way. That's every game. Yeah. But uh, I reckon we got this. Yeah, I'm with you. Thank you very much for joining me.
same straw when we just drove on the rock, but it's coming back over here. And we, uh, yeah, we definitely stepped off the desert. I actually came back to the goalway. We saw it. It's almost like we decided one would be enough. And um, we stopped really, really digging in. I think Jay was really unlucky with his, his chances. Then he fell awkwardly to the top. I think he should have still took him. Big chance for the second half. That was massive. I mean, if that goes in, the game was sort of done and dusted at that point. But even towards the end of the game, we had plenty of chances. Substitutions this time didn't let us down. I actually didn't get a lot of like and it didn't make us want to get it. We just seemed to be far too keen to go backwards. Yeah, it did. We didn't, we didn't talk quick enough again. You spoke on TikTok the other day, you were on a whole TikTok live, you said to me, we're a little too close. I thought the words made me sorry. Yeah, I think absolutely today was a day where we needed to uh, we needed to be playing like it was a relegation battle. You know, when we were to tell them last season, that's how we should have been. When we went up against the, the bigger clubs, we really did it in. But Russell Martin seems to just want to play really good in the football. Uh, and unfortunately, to be able to play that football, we don't have the now that we're in. And I don't think so. The only hope we really have is, is we still have those two games in the world. And unfortunately, playing the way the match played, it's unlikely to come down and make up the wins against, especially if you're the best there. They are must win. And then that leads to the last day of the season. Unless we can keep ourselves in it, uh, it's going to be playoffs. And like I said, like you said in your line, I don't think we've got enough. We don't have big enough stones to go and have a go in the playoffs. I think we're too weak. We're looking at Hull and West Brom, but these guys are going to kind of just tear chunks out of us. And I don't Norwich think we've got well, enough. Norwich, 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 yeah, yeah, Norwich, 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 Norwich,
as well with just unlucky since we can't reach, you know. Just that goal, they scored we could have just went through. Yeah, it was. I felt it coming. I bet you were. Our issues. Twenty minutes before the goal, feel far off in the sneak. My mate, my best mate, technically got one. Yeah, I mean, like I said to my mate Kevin as well. I said, but the longer they keep this one 0 they're going to believe they can hit a goal. Probably not. They did. Straight from our corner and yeah, go down the other end and score a header. So it's nice for their away fans, isn't it? Come yeah. down and get a point from us. But yeah, it's, it's a game we all thought we were going to win. Everyone that I did score predictions with before, everyone on my TikTok thought we were going to win today. We haven't done. Are you surprised at the result? Um, I thought we were going to win 2 1. I said 2 1. Uh, I didn't think we were going to keep a clean sheet, but I didn't think we were going to see that late either. But yeah, it is what it is. It's a good game. 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 It's a they're in really good form. Hopefully Blackburn can do us. Yeah, the case is Blackburn, hopefully they can do us a favour. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean, and then Leeds are at 8 o'clock, isn't it, tonight? So, that's a, game. That's a massive game as well. And I, I can't see Leeds dropping points away. They're too strong. Um, so, what, that's 74 points are on, aren't we now? Yeah. Um, and then it's on 81, so it's, it's a big ask. It's huge ask. Huge ask. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you give Rod a follow. He's a, he's a TikToker. Like I said, I'll leave all the links in my description below. So make sure you give him a follow. Thank you for joining me. Your thoughts on today's result against Barrow and It was just like we were good, but we weren't. But we weren't. Like, we weren't getting behind, we weren't getting behind the, when they attack we weren't getting behind it. We, we just didn't turn the ball over the freaking half as we don't try and say aren't you like there's opportunities where Cinemana could be put in early doors and we check back playing inside pass and like, yeah, yeah. Like, Cine, I thought Cinemana was just my favourite player but he's, he's just got to be when he's on the ball, he's got, he's got to like. He's not clinical. Now. He's not clinical. He's got to like drive the ball. He's, he's got to. Um, frustrating player. Yeah, he's a frustrating player, and, he, and he's got to um, just go for the ball. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally agree. Uh, do, you, do you kind of feel today's result? I don't think anyone expected today. Um, anything's possible in the championship, though. Um, do you feel out the automatic promotion race now? I, I think we get. I think we're out of automatics. I think we're. Do you play us? I think playoffs, we'll get playoffs, but I think we'll go off in the playoffs. Yeah, if we can go off in the playoffs, it'd be very, very nice. Anyone stand out for you today? Any performances, Bill? Play well, Jack Stevens at the back, as I had a good game. I'm going to say. Jack Stevens, well, he, he was, he was up, he was, he was absolutely brilliant. Like, when he made a massive, massive tackle, didn't he? Um, oh. That player's throw on goal, he's, he's, he's made a good few yards there to make the tackle. It was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. I, I thought, well, I thought, I got a bit nervous because when we were through, I thought they were going to score, but Jack Stevens, what a credit he is. Captain, fantastic. Done, a, done well there for us. But big game now, Monday, it switched away. How, how are you feeling? Um, going to have to go to the winner. Nothing less than three points. I'm, I think we'll go away with the three points. I'm, I'm, I think we're going to beat them 3-1. I think we'll be at 3-1. That would be very nice. We'd finish off Easter night. Mate, thank you very much for joining me. So, so I want to get your thoughts on today's game. Yep. Um, drop, dropped two points. Yes, yeah, sadly, word today. Yeah, very what frustrating. Very frustrating. <laughs> Should have come away with three points, definitely, for sure. Yeah, went one nil up. Did you think we'd go on and, and, and get a second? We didn't look like it, did we, for a long period? No, I mean, the first 20 minutes we should have been up by two, maybe three. We had our chances to put away first half, for sure. But, yeah, we blew it. <laughs> yeah, looking at your shirt reminds me of Ricky Lambert. Boy, do we need a Ricky Lambert right now. We do, yeah. Sadly, I don't think Adams is good enough for the team anymore. <laughs> he had yeah, his big miss today. Yeah, exactly. 
not the only player to have a one-on-one -on -one miss. But. Yeah, it was a big miss at that stage of the game. Um, dropped yeah. the points. Obviously, massive game coming up Easter Monday. We've got to go and play Ipswich away. We're currently playing at the moment. Yeah. They're one nil up already oh, no. okay. after six minutes. Um, how are you feeling about that one? Well, it's a must-win game. Isn't it? it is. It's probably we'll decide how, where we finish if we finish guaranteed promotion or not. But yeah. we would have to win. What we, we, we would think to now. Win, yeah, like best squad definitely needs to be out. Yeah, as the players' best team. Um, anybody stand out for you today in that, in, in that performance? I don't know, probably our man of the match, our defender, but... Jack Stevens. Yeah. Yeah, he played well, Jack Stevens. Yeah, he did help, yeah, massively. Do you think it's going to be playoffs for Southampton now, gut feeling? I would like to say we'll finish second, but it was going to be a big ask. We have to stay positive. <laughs> yeah, we have to. I like the positivity. Yeah. We are going to have to, like, really yeah. go for it now, aren't we? Yes, Like definitely. I said, try and get a win on, on Monday. Yeah, we need to, yeah. Without a doubt, yeah. We need, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Thank you very much, Max. Right. Thanks for joining me on my match day vlog. Um, give me your thoughts on today's performance. 1-1 uh, one, one draw. Uh, bit of a gut and way to end it to be honest we were all over them and then obviously last minute header doesn't help anything but I don't know like great performance personally I thought it was a good performance we were we were all over them and then <sighs> just let them back in a little bit second half didn't we just let them back in a bit kind of set off a little bit we everyone was saying that outside the ground the people that I spoke to is that we just we kept passing kept passing but that's what they do under Russell it doesn't go forward as quick but that's what we do. Yeah. It's 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 the it's the it's the style of play that we do, and I love it, and I love it. And we we were all over them, and Shay misses that sitter, and big, big miss. Shay misses that sitter. There was that goal mouth scramble as well, and then With Adam Armstrong know. wasn't it? Yeah. And I don't know. On another day, we beat them three four nil, and who knows? Who knows? It's it's sad, and we're probably in the playoffs now. But in the playoffs, I probably back us to beat anyone. Like against Middlesbrough today, they're a good team, mm. but. If we played them in the playoffs again, I'd back us to beat them. Yeah, it'd be totally different as it becomes a cup final, doesn't it? Um, you think we'd have to go to Ipswich and, and have to win now to stand any chance a second? It's probably out of the question, but a must-win game Monday? Yeah, absolutely, and they're, they're winning now, but we've got we've got nine games left. Carl Walker beat said it before the game. We got nine. We had ten cup finals before today. And now we have got nine. Who knows? Just keep playing. Don't focus on anyone else, and just keep keep the games going. Keep it rolling. We got so we got so much quality off the bench. David Brooks came off today. He wasn't very good. Aribo came off. He didn't have much time to do anything. But we've got so much quality off the bench. I reckon just just keep it going. There's th this season is just absolutely mental. It's yeah. absolutely. You get Leicester go today, and they they drop points against Bristol City, and they're just proper wobbling. The games it's it's a crazy season, and Leeds are going to fly. Leeds will win it. And then it's between three. Go beat Ipswich on Monday, and then who knows what happens? And we got we got playing both away as well. I don't know. It's it's disappointing to not win it, but I think I don't know. A lot, it's, of, pe it, a lot of people outside the ground before said to me, if you get four points from the next two games, would, would be decent out of today, out of today and Monday. It, that could that could still happen. Absolutely, yeah. Go go beat Ipswich, and then everyone's positive again. And I think today. It's so annoying not not winning at the end of it, but we had we had a good performance personally. I think we're good and go go beat Ipswich completely changes and we've got so many winnable games as well. Like I, I reckon we could win way more many. We could we could win another six more this season Easy. and still not Easy. do it. But I don't know. It's I think playoffs is probably more than likely that what we're going to get and then who knows what it is. It's a, it's a lottery, yeah. isn't it? It's a cup final. <laughs> it is. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Cheers, Today's vlog is coming to an end. Uh, Saints draw in Middlesbrough. Uh, football dad is with me. Give me your thoughts. You sat next to me. Just give everyone else your views. Um, I thought we were ineffective for a lot of the game. I thought pass, we... pass, pass, wasn't pass, it? Pass, pass, pass. Um, I, I think the players are frightened to uh, to knock a long ball out from be, uh, from the back. I think they're, co they're coached not to do it, even when it's the best option. Um, Even when you've got Silamana and acres of space and absolutely. opportunity to have a one-on-one. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, why pump the ball forward when you can you know, knock it from side to side? Um, not loads of positives, really. I thought, I thought when we scored early on, if we could get another goal before half-time, we would have, we would have sewn it up, but, but we didn't. And the longer the second half went... Um, the we kept saying, didn't we, sat next to each other, we were saying, like, you could feel it coming, couldn't you? You could feel a borough goal coming. Yeah, you could feel it coming. You could see it coming. And they... You know, and there was the, the interception by Stevens, which was phenomenal. That should have been a goal. They had a, they had a couple of opportunities, I thought. Was, they hit the post was, first half as yeah, well, and didn't Bizzuno they? And Bruno and... Oh, yeah, yeah, he drops the clanger. We, no one yeah. spoke about that yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we were both like, looked at each other like, oh, my word. But he always... So he got a heart attack at that stage. But to be honest with you, um, 
I wonder if we've really got the bottle for the playoffs. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Have, yeah. we, have we got the bottle for the playoffs? We've got some good, we've got some good young players coming through. Um, we can't set up games at 1-0 though, can we? No, no, we can't kill a game off. We still haven't got, we still haven't got a recognised striker. Not really. I mean, Adams... You're taking a bit of flack today, Shad Adams. We, we praise him a lot. Yeah, when think, we were watching the game we thought he played quite well today think, didn't we I, th- I think he's been good this season I think he holds up the ball well he's got stru- bo- better body strength better presence um, yeah he, he, he missed a howler today but it's not just down to him it's down to the tactics as well um, plus plus is Walker Peters Harwood Barrett Bellis who's as good a centre half as I've seen in a lot he's of a great players. player massive shout out to Harwood yeah, Bellis yeah, he's quality um, isn't he superb superb player um, and to be fair, Bree did okay. Stewie Armstrong did okay, but there was a lot of powder, powder puff football. Really. Where, where do you see it going now? Um, nine games remaining. Um, it's going to be playoffs, isn't it? Playoffs. And it's going to be too much. Yeah, it'd be too much for them. They're not. They're not. Good, they're not going to win anything in the playoffs. I, I don't. I don't see they've got the the bottle or the leadership to do it. If they try and walk their their way around like they do in every other game. Big game over, I think. Don't think it'd be enough. No, no. I, I think you made some really good points there. Thank you for joining me. Uh-huh.